Hi, this is CJ and this is the third part of the CCSA R75 Home Lab and in this video we're going to be talking about setting up the DMZ network and uh, gaining access to the HTTP servers uh, running on both the headquarter DMZ and the branch DMZ. Uh, but before that, let me talk about uh, something on uh, the, the policy package, right? Right off the bat, when you install the checkpoint and the SMS server, you get a standard policy, right? Which forms a part of the rule base. When you when you create a rule, it all all the rules go to the standard policy. Now, in order to be able to create the package for uh, the branches and other offices, you just have to create. Uh, click on File and click on New, right? And give a name to it. Like for example, this could be. Um, New York branch right and it should also create firewall translation rules and uh, you know if you want to add QoS that can also be there firewall trans firewall address translation uh, this should be checked right so you click on ok uh, hold on a second underscore ok this is a new package altogether Right. This is exactly what you see when you uh, first log into SMS without having a, who's it just gotten uh, no policies or no rules whatsoever. Right. So I have already created a, a a package for the branches. Now, since we are in the New York package, the only available ones are a the standard which comes as a default, and the other one which I created ahead of time, which is the branch for this particular let me just zoom in this particular network okay so where is that CCSA hmm so if I click on file I click on open uh, it's asking you to save it yeah you can give, go ahead and save that thing now it's gonna open the packages right so there are two packages branch and standard right so standard is the one which is presented to you when you first log into the SMS server and you see the empty rule base so let me just first click on the branch so this is what the f um, branch package looks like so I this also this was also empty just like the New York package I created few rules like the management rule this is exactly what we did for the the headquarter security gateway the management rule headquarter um, this is um, the console gaining access to the branch and the stealth rule which does this allows any any object to to gain access to the branch right to the to the security gateway itself right then the branch network the branch internal network going out to any the, uh, on the web and finally the implicit deny now I have copied these rules like this uh, let me just hold on the first rule press the shift key and the, click on the last rule right and then click on copy alright so you click on copy open the standard package double click like uh, single click here and and you can paste it here whatever you feel like okay so I have pasted it the reason why I've done this thing is because uh, there was few redundant rules let me show you let me go back go back to this thing once again and then tell you what exactly I'm talking about so for example this um, the couple of redundant rules one is the management rule the same GUI into uh, GUI host has access to the branch as well as the host so there is no need for me to create two different rules or the same rule in different packages if you want to put it that way similarly the stealth rule right so I uh, and the cleanup rule so one two and three so what I've done is that I have gone back to I uh, you can just keep a note of this one one oops it's gonna be up Okay, this is how you drag and drop it. Mm, man, this is so yeah. Okay, management stealth. So you keep an keep an eye on these four: management, stealth, and cleanup rule. 
okay as you can see that I have not selected any policy targets out here because this uh, by default was a part of the here by the uh, for the branch but now that we have added <coughs> now it shows two okay so I am not even you know doing anything on this particular policy package I have to go back to uh, no I don't want to cancel it I don't want to save it well you have to save it hmm. come on okay click on the standard so as you can see that the management rule governs uh, or allows provisions this particular GUI client the H console to gain access to the headquarter and the branch so I have added I have combined these two rules copied those rules from that and then combine them similarly for stealth no computer should be uh, should be allowed to gain access to the firewall itself and finally the cleanup rule right deny all now having defined these things when you talk about policy target it means all the firewalls are covered inside it okay and when you have to when you have to uh, define policy to a specific security gateway that's when you select this security gateway under the install on column okay like this so this particular policy is meant for this this firewall and this particular policy is meant for this firewall so let me just go um, talk about these uh, rules that I have created and uh, the first one is the management rule which which we discussed in the last video so headquarter uh, GUI client this is the one this is the one GUI client and uh, this has access to the web and the HTTP um, the web and the HSH, SSH uh, to both the firewalls and then we have a stealth rule which means no object should have access to the firewall and then we have the internal network the internal network means uh, first of all I had to create the the network how do we create the network just right click on here and click on network define the properties give the name the mask and the comment if you want and give you the color if you want to let me show you the network that I created either you click double click here or you go back or you go here and then click on headquarter internal and one and the same thing click here or double click here okay so 192 1.0 this network similarly I have defined the branch internal 192 2.0 and I have defined the headquarter DMZ 192 10.0 this one and uh, the branch branch DMZ 192 20.0 the this one okay so I have defined all the networks here now I have to define the the host uh, for the DMZ of both the sites all right so you click on the right click on the node select node and then click uh, select the host okay and give the name to the host and uh, give the IP address and comment let me show you the host that I created so it's uh, DMZ server this server which is the web SMTP and FTP 192.168.10.50 and you can give a comment name this is not the computer name 
this could be any name right similarly for the branch 192.168.20.50 branch http so i have uh, defined i have installed the uh, web server on both the dmz's right on the branch and the headquarter and now let's talk about the rules the fourth rule internal network rule the outgoing this is the section head how do you add this heading right click on the, the number section title above or below so it's above or below and then you and you and you name it outgoing rule incoming rule right and uh, so internal network the headquarter internal headquarter internal network 192.168.1.0 has access to any destination and the traffic is accepted right and this policy is installed on the headquarter branch branch has access to similarly 192.168.2.0 has um, access to any network and is installed on the branch and we want to log the changes the third one the incoming rule now any network has access to the headquarter network that 192.168.1.0 right um, the service could be anything except okay and the, the web traffic rule is this is this is right below this thing right web traffic rule any server or oh, any network any host to the DMZ server 192.168.10.50 but only HTTP and HTTP and HTTPS proxy okay and this policy is also installed on the headquarter similarly for the branch branch net internal incoming could be any network to the internal 192.168.2.0 accept and tracked and but for the web only HTTP and HTTP and and under and HTTPS proxy is allowed okay and the cleanup is the implicit deny so once you have done this thing you can click on install policy make sure that this is absolutely correct double sure and you know go to the rules once again and then see that you are actually installing the policy in the right security gateway otherwise it's going to create some problems right and then you have to do a f uh, fw unlocal and all those things so you click on the install policy down pointing arrow and then you can push the policy here it's going to do some checks if the connectivity is proper to both the security gateways then it's going to push the policy and also if there are no errors just wait for the policy Hmm. The amount of time uh, that this, the SMS server takes to push the policy depends on many factors. One of them is how busy the security gateway is, and uh, if whether the security gateway is in the same network or you know uh, whether it's one is located in London and the other one is located in New York. That can take uh, that can also you know delay the process thirdly the amount of ram the memory resources available right which is like loosely connected to the first point which is how busy the the security gateway is so as you can see the installation com is completed successfully so you click on close and now you can click on yeah you can go to this particular computer this is inside the headquarter security gateway this is the console itself and I want to from 
this computer, the console, I want to reach this HTTP server of the branch through these firewalls. Okay, so let's see. HTTP or rather you can just type it right, 192.168.20.50. This is the test to test the connectivity of the branch network. Wow. So this is working fine. Now from the branch PC, I can come here and log in here. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot five zero. This is a test to test the connectivity to the web server headquarter DMZ. Okay, so both sides are working absolutely fine, and that was the purpose of this particular video, you know, to show the connectivity to the DMZ servers. Okay, so thanks. Bye bye.